Good morning, you guys. This is a fresh morning face. So today we're doing a day in the life vlog. Um, my week this week is really crazy. Sorry, you guys are like sitting on my like dash because I have nowhere else to put you and I know the story wheel is annoying, it's annoying. But um, I stopped for coffee this morning at the gas station and just dropped the kids off at um, daycare. My coffee again, Casey's coffee is really good. You guys don't knock it till you try it. Like legit, sometimes it's better than s Starbucks, dare I say. Um, Anyway, so I usually get either the Kona blend or I'll get the hazelnut coffee and then I'll throw some half and half in there and boom, good to go. Um, my, just like with the COVID stuff, I haven't been using like the um, the pumps for like syrup, like the sugar-free. Um, and plus I'm trying to like rid my body of all the like toxins and even though like that stuff is sugar-free, it's still a full of unhealthy things. <sighs> anyway. So I'm sitting outside um, my friend Hannah's um, eyelash studio. This is where I get my eyelashes done. Um, she was just able to open back up, so I'm about to go and see her again. So I'm not gonna be able to bring my camera inside this time to say hello to her, um, but I will have Hannah's stuff all linked down below. But I will probably be getting a little bit more um, like volume and a little bit thicker this time. Um, so yeah, and then after this, I'm gonna be going to Dollar General because I wanna see if I can find some fun things for like a decorate and clean with me video or like an organizational video. Um, there is a decorate with me just, or a decorate. There's a Dollar General um, in the town just next to me um, versus like in like Fargo Moorhead, there's only like Dollar Trees. So I am going to head there, but I'm gonna grab my wallet, I'm going to grab a mask here, and then I'm going to head inside and get my lashes done. So, wish me luck. This is the new look for when I go in for my hair appointments and my lashes appointments, which by the way, I curled my hair with my lounge curling iron and in love, so good. Okay, I'll check in with you guys once I get back in the vehicle. Okay, fresh lashes, mint, I'm always, I'm always so red when I like come out of the salon with my mask on. Whew, warm. Um, <laughs> anyways, okay, so I have like a million things that I need to do and I kind of need to like go all over the place. So um, I was talking to Mike and I was like, well, we kind of need to get a few groceries, which um, if I get groceries, would I literally haven't been anywhere. Um, I usually just order groceries, but um, I need like a couple things from Costco. I need a couple things from Costco, so I, I, I don't know. I'm like having a fight in my head right now because I want to go to Dollar General and get some things. Um, and I want to go to um, Target and get like a new planner. But also, I kind of want to go to Walmart and like see what kind of decor they have out right now. I don't know, I'm having an internal battle. But I don't really want to go anywhere and like expose myself, so. Uh, I don't know what to do. All right, so I just got back from Target and I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I grabbed while I was there. Okay, so I went to Target um, for a planner and then some like veggies and stuff to like fill out our meals for the week. And I feel like I did pretty good. I grabbed a couple of extra things um, while I was there just because there were some things that we needed and then there was one thing I didn't really need but I still got. Um, so I got these, um, these are room essential bowls. I just, I love this color. Um, so I got three of them because they were 79 cents each, such a good deal. Um, the kids' bowls are like, they've disappeared. I have like one kids' bowl left. And these are a little big for kids' bowls, but they're perfect for cereal, so, um, which is why I got these. And then I got, um, I got a planner because my planner um, for 2020 ends in June. So I just got a 2020-2021 um, calendar. I think this is like $11.99 at Target. Um, something that I look for in my planners is I really need it to have like um, the big like day-to-day. -day. And then um, I need it to also have the month spread out for like my videos and then our M&M Rustic um orders and like schedule for like posting on there um and then i just got some more of these these are my go-to for 
um, like planning and stuff. Um, don't mind my fingernails. I was planting a hydrangea this morning. Um, but anyways, I have, um, I've always gone to these um, like felt tip ones and I love these colors. Mine are like dying, which is why I got some more. Um, and then, okay, so some miscellaneous stuff. I found, I love these sparkling ice things. Um, I've always thought that it would be nice if they had caffeine in them. Like I know they're not the best for you. They're like five calories and they're zero carbs, zero sugar. Um, and they have like vitamins in them and stuff. But you know, of course, being like a, a canned beverage so I'm sure there's still stuff in here that isn't super great but this one has caffeine in it so I wanted to try this out and see how I liked it um and then I got Mike some more deodorant um honestly I usually just use Mike's deodorant this is the native deodorant in sea salt and cedar um it smells really yummy it's like manly but I enjoy it too does anybody else use their husband's um deodorant because it's that's like what I do um, and then I got some Cholula, some Cholula. Um, Cholula is like my favorite hot sauce besides Red Hot. I love it, I love it. Tabasco, I like Tabasco too, but it gets a little smoky for me sometimes. And then I also picked up a three pack of these little American flags from the Target value spot. Um, it comes with three of them and they're like four inch by six inch, six inch flags. I just thought this would be cute to like, add to my flowers out front or maybe toss one inside here somewhere for 4th of July decor. Um, and then I have a really fun project coming up um, next month where I'm gonna be sharing with you um, some summer activities and things like that. So I grabbed a couple of these from the Target um, value spot as well for a dollar each um, of mermaids and then sharks. So stay tuned for what I have in store for these. Um, and then I got for groceries so just to like give you guys an idea our like summer menu is very simple um and as you guys know we're trying to be like whole foods and i'm trying like anti-inflammatory i'm trying to fast during the day so usually i'll just have a coffee in the morning and then i honestly i'll just try and wait until supper time to really pack in all of my calories and nutrients for the, for the day at supper um i have found for intermittent fasting it has been so beneficial for like my energy and for my body and i took a week off from it and i felt so different i felt super unhealthy and i just felt like draggy and mentally fogged um and i was having some like adult beverages every night um, when i was at the lake and it just it wasn't good for me so um this week before i go back to the lake for a week i am making sure that i'm staying healthy and um my mom and i are teaming up and we're doing a really fun like um anti-inflammatory whole foods um, meal plan for while we're at the lake next week so stay tuned because i am going to share a few recipes from the groceries that we got um for the lake um but i just picked up some chicken drummies um drummies and thighs are like some of our go-to's during the summertime because you can toss these on your grill or your, or your smoker um and they're so so yummy um these were two dollars and 88 cents and this will feed all of us for a meal that's a great deal and then we're going to be making fajitas this week too. So I picked up some Chuck tender steak um, and this was $7.99 for Chuck steaks. What I'll do is I'll just um, slice them up uh, into strips for fajitas. Um, and then I picked up just some shredded romaine lettuce and I plan to um, use this for like tacos and the fajitas. Picked up some cauliflower to go with the chicken drummies. Um, and then for Mike, so we're trying to be like gluten-free. I don't really know if this is totally anti-inflammatory. I'm not personally going to eat it, but um, Mike prefers the yellow corn tortillas for tacos and fajitas. And then um, I got some green peppers for the fajitas. And then just to try out for, um, like I said, I usually intermittent fast, but just in case I get hungry one of these days um, during the week, I got this is it suja or su suha? I don't no idea. Um, but I, I've heard a lot of really good stuff about this. It's organic, cold pressed, and this is the Mighty Dozen, which has apple, celery, cucumber, kale, collard greens, um, paired with lemon, mint, tea, ginger, spinach, spirulina, um, chlorella, and then barley grass. I'm sure it tastes like um, a grass field in a bottle, but it sounds like it would be really good. Now this is. Um, it has a 
total carb count of 14, um, total sugars of 17, but that is zero added sugars. So that's just coming from um, likely from the apple and um, the lemon and things like that. But um, it's vegan, no preservatives, no added flavors. And it's all organic so it looks pretty good i've heard good things so i might try this one day um if i just get a little snacky and then i also picked up i loved this color from target isn't this so pretty my mom just got me a bunch of like gray ones from walmart which are so nice but and they literally are like the exact shape and size but they're just dark gray and i thought like blush and dark gray for our cups would be so nice i need to go through my cupboard and like pull out all of the old ones so um these were 79 cents a piece and i believe they're room essentials as well um but such a great deal and then this was my one splurge so if you guys have seen my containers on my counter which i will leave them linked down below for you guys i get so many questions on my containers um, on the counter um, with like the like wood tops um, but i found a utensil holder to match for 11.99 so my um i hold like almond flour and then regular um like gluten-free flour and the other uh, like big one um but they look exactly like this, just with wood tops. I'll, I'll show you here in a second. But I also got this, so I will leave all of those linked down below for you guys, um, as well as the cups, and then those bowls that I showed you. Um, and then if I can find my planner and markers, I'll link those too. Those are all my go-tos, and I was so excited because I just have like a black one over here right now that I've had forever um, that I could probably bring out to the lake and use it at the camper or like give it to my grandparents and let them use it in the cabin. So, um, but this way it's just a little bit more matchy in the kitchen and everything flows nicely together. Okay guys, so I was going to um, like record this as a separate video then figured I would throw it in with my Target haul. Um, this is just like a mini Costco haul so it won't take me long, but I've had a lot of you guys asking. So just recently I switched over to Weight Watchers, or I started Weight Watchers along with like my Whole Foods anti-inflammatory diet journey, um, and like working some more carbohydrates back into my diet. I've been doing low carb for a long time, and typically like what I eat still is low carb with some exceptions. So I'm gonna go through some of the things that I got um, to help me along in my weight loss journey, and just like a really quick like weight loss update um since starting weight watchers this week so when you guys are seeing this um it would have been last week then for you um but since starting weight watchers and my anti-inflammatory diet and like really honing it in this week i have lost five pounds in just a few days um which is amazing and i hope that i can keep that up and i'm trying to figure out like what mama drinks i can still have like while i'm on Weight Watchers and my anti-inflammatory diet, I think I'm just gonna probably stick to like my white claws and my Trulies. Um, anyway, so let's go over some of the things that I got from Costco today. All right, so it's been a few months since I've been to Costco and I refilled on our toilet paper and I refilled on our paper towels. Um, they were like stocked to the ceiling with toilet paper and like all the way down. It was ridiculous. People were like commenting on it and laughing and course I was like snapping it and sending it to my friends and family I thought it was ridiculous but um so I snaked some um toilet paper because we're down for our last couple packages and my mom and sisters are coming to stay with us again um this next week and we're going to be going to the lake so I'm just going to bring some toilet paper with us so we're good to go out there um so I've got those two things which I'm not going to bring up and show you guys and then the other like more bulky thing that I got is uh, my laundry detergent i just get like the like free and clear all um i've been using this for a long time and i love it it's like the price point is beautiful i got this for 14.99 but sometimes you can catch it with like an instant rebate of three dollars so it's like, only like 11.99 for this guy cleans my clothes just as well um as like tide or any of the other brands is even cheaper than the kirkland's brand like the costco brand um anyway i love it and i just add like a little bit of like downy like the lavender fabric softener to my laundry um loads that i want to smell good usually with the kids clothes i'll just use the free and clear um but that's my go-to laundry detergent um and then i use avocado oil for all of my baking for all of my cooking everything um and i'm not going to get into 
<laughs> all of the reasons why I use it. It's just, it's a little bit healthier for you than um, extra virgin olive oil um, when you're using it for cooking. Um, anyways, and my husband prefers the taste of avocado oil. It's very tasteless. It's like an, it's like an extra light um, or extra virgin olive oil, extra light tasting very light tasting and that's part of the reason why I love it. Um, and then I also, I snaked this, um, or I grabbed, you guys are like, what's snaked, snaked? I grabbed <laughs> um, some avocado salsa from Costco that was so hard to get out. Got this huge thing for like $7 and this was like two or three Weight Watchers points. I'm on the Weight Watchers blue in case you guys are wondering. Um, so I got that because Avocados are so good for you. And then the other salsa that I got, cause like for lunch, a lot of times I just like have like snacky lunches. So I also got the Mateo salsa, which I showed you guys this in several Costco hauls before. Um, this is one of my favorite salsas besides the Mexican village salsa that I make um, at home. Anyway, this is the bomb.com. It's like five bucks for this huge jar. Um, and I think it's like one or two points as well. I think it's only one point actually. Um, and then to go along with the um, salsas, I got these um, late July snacks. It's the sea salt multi-grain tortilla chips. And I used to get a different brand from Costco, um, but they started carrying this one, um, but it's very similar um, to what I had before with the chia flax, millet, um, quinoa, and amaranth in it. So these are, um, let's see. I believe these are, oh, yep, so these are certified um, gluten-free, organic, vegan, kosher, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or preservatives. Um, and these are like three or four points per nine tortilla chips. And in case you guys are wondering, I am allotted like 30 points per day. Um, and then I got a um, thing of chicken drummies because um, we have chicken drummies for meals all the time. And I also got some smoked salmon. Smoked salmon, this is like one of my go-tos from Costco. I believe you can buy it at Sam's Club too if you're a Sam's shopper. Um, anyways, this was like three points per, I, I think it was like per ounce. Um, but I'll usually just have like a couple ounces with some tortilla chips for like a snacky lunch as well if I'm not feeling salsa. And then I grabbed the kids some veggie straws because those are like a staple in the house, especially in the summer. And I grabbed a huge, huge thing of AA batteries because I need to put batteries in quite a few things. And these were like $13 for like this giant package. So that is what I got in my little like mini Costco haul, just like some staples that I get. Always get salsas, I always get like chips and snacks. Um, and I always get some kind of like meat when I'm there, usually like chicken and salmon is what I go for these days. Um, avocado oil, this will last us typically three to six months depending on how much like we're using oil. Um, in the summertime, it might last us a little bit longer because um, we're not using as much and I'm not baking as much. So anyway, that's what I got in my Costco haul. Okay, so these are the containers that I was talking about on my counter. I love them, they're just like wood on top and I really love that like, I love mixing modern farmhouse with a little bit of boho and this is perfect, it gives it just like the, just the right amount of like boho feel in here along with like my subway tile. Like I said, I love to mix it, which by the way, if you look up here, we still need to put our like wood trim piece on top, which we plan on doing like a driftwood color to kind of match those um, for our wood trim piece along the top of the subway tile. But all the little projects in the house, things will slowly but surely come together. Um, it's just gonna take us a little bit. All right, so I just got done recording and I'm almost done editing that um, summer clothing haul and try in for you guys. Um, now, I just need to get my, the light won't turn on here, that's nice. Um, I just need to get my shoes on, which are up in my bedroom from the try on haul, but I have to get my shoes on, and then I'm gonna head to the post office because my post office has like really dumb hours, like, they are closed over lunch break from 12.30 to 1.30, and um, they're only open from like nine to 4.45, I think. So, all right. I am on my way 
to go to the post office and see what in the world is in my P.O. box and I need to get. And then I'm gonna pick up the kids. All right, I will check in with you guys once I get to the post office. Woo! It's bright outside. It is so windy outside. I am so frustrated with my post office. Okay, so I got here at like 4.35. Guess what? They close at 4.30. So I showed up at 12.30. They take a lunch break from 12.30 to 1.30, so they're not open. So I came back at 4.35, because I thought they closed at 4.45. They close at 4.30. They have the weirdest hours, and I'm starting to get a little frustrated. But, rah. all right, so I'm gonna head and get the kids, and then um, go home and make some dinner. I'm thinking for dinner tonight, I will probably do like, um, either fajitas or tacos, like something a little bit easier, um, but filling because I have been intermittent fasting all day and I am hungry. <laughs> what are you doing? Kai's eating her leftover breakfast pizza the, from this morning that she got. Yeah, and I'm the, um, did you hear me? I was having a, I'm making a project. You're making a project from your, from what? From gravy. From garbage? No, 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 look guys, you have to see this. What? You can recycle stuff. And you can turn to Recycle toys. stuff? You can turn to toys. Yes, you're so right. How did you know that? Yeah, it says it on that. <laughs> I have no idea how she knows that it says that. And I've never read that to her recycles. before. It says recycle garbage. Recycle garbage and you can make a toy. You are so right. Wow, yeah. you're pretty smart. Yeah. Ooh, I'm having like huge issues with my tripod. Okay, so we just got home and I am just gonna do some tacos for dinner. So I pulled uh, my blender out because I make salsa from literally just diced tomatoes and and um, Mexican village hot sauce. That's all I do, it's so easy. You're keeping me on Yeah, I'm strapped in Stuck in a song You can't turn on Okay guys, so as per usual, I forgot to end the vlog last night. So we had tacos last night. Um, I put the kids to bed and then I went to bed. I've been having like weird insomnia lately where I literally will lay in bed and think of all of the things I need to do, which is crazy because I feel like when I was working, I, I and probably just because this is a new routine for me, but I, I felt like I had my routine down better when I was um, working full time and I like knew what I had to do and I wrote everything down and whatever. So anyways, I am going to upload a video for you guys in a few days telling you how I stay motivated and how I stay on track with staying at home and well, I should say working from home, like how I stay on track with all of my things. Um, I've been able to put in so much more time into my YouTube and building relationships with you guys and really connecting with you over on my Instagram and over here on my channel. Um, and then also being able to connect with my clients and customers over on Eminem Rustics. Um, that's been a lot of fun. So just in a couple weeks, my entire life has changed and it is the most amazing life. And if I could leave you guys with one thing at the end of this video is manifest your dreams. You want to wake up and be so excited and so happy in the life that you are living and the, and the job that you have, the career you have, I want you to be happy in it every single day. I want you to really think about that and really analyze because I, am so much happier. I loved being an accountant, I did. But this is truly such a, like I can't even tell you, just like a dream come true. I absolutely, I wake up every single day and I am just so happy with like how things are going and I'm so happy with my life. I'm so excited, this is the kids' last week. Um, in daycare full time. Kaya will stay full time because she really benefits from like the schooling there. Um, but then Riker will be home with me and uh, we're just, we're talking about so many fun things right now. Baby number three and like we have a bunch of weddings and fun things coming up. Just all the fun stuff and 
I am loving every single minute of this. This is absolutely a dream come true. So thank you, you guys for always being here and supporting me, whether it be working full time and running my side businesses during the night, or now being a stay at home or work from home mama and being able to bring my side hustles into full time businesses and really just thriving and loving life. So I really encourage you guys to do the same because it has been absolutely life changing. Okay guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, which should be a morning routine. I'm like pre uploading and pre recording everything this week. Um, so I believe it's going to be a morning routine of of what it looks like with the kids like still kind of in daycare like my transitional morning routine um, and then I will update you guys of course um, once I get into like a good routine um, once Riker is staying home so all right guys I'll see you in a couple days bye